Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Yes, it's been a while, I haven't posted for a while, I've been busy doing lots of other interesting things and now I am back. If you saw my previous episode, you would have seen that I have built this rather massive area. This is all around a simple concept of using a tram. So I have used Metro and I have used Monorail and today I've decided to expand my public transport or my mass transit, however you want to say it, and I am using trams. So this is a relatively large area and it is starting to grow as we can see. And I want to do a few minor changes. I want to add a few of the features that I've downloaded from the workshop, which is to do with changing these stops. I'd like to change those to something different. So that is what I am going to have a go at today. Or is it tonight? Or is it tomorrow? I, I'm still losing track. We're still down in lockdown and I am still, well, I'm actually sweating at the moment because it has got quite hot in the UK at this moment and evenings and bedtime I don't do well with when it is warm. If I had air conditioning and solar panels to offset the air, uh, solar panels with battery so I could power air conditioning to keep myself cool at night, I would do it. Anyway, these trams look okay. I've also downloaded a few other trams from certain workshop people and I'm gonna make a few changes to those trams now and see what we've got. Let's hope I've got some available. So here are all my trams that I've got going. I'm just going to remove the colors so it's easier to identify the trams by moving up and down, as you can see. So let's choose this one here. This is doing quite well. And I wonder what trams I can use. So I can select type. Here you go, I've added a few. I'm going to try this one. Bang, bang, bang. And we are going to remove all the current trams in use on that line. So this is the red one. So I'm going to say we want to use this. I've no idea what this looks like. Let's have a look, shall we? At the red trams. Hopefully they're gonna come into the depot and some new ones will come out. Annoyingly, I'm a bit confused at the moment because I haven't got the red one going. Which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. That's the one. Number six. Let's go back. We'll just turn it on for the time being. Hopefully we should see a red train come in and a new one come out. One? Yes, it is. Right, let's get rid of the info and let's have a look how well detailed this is, shall we? So that does look quite a nice model. I'm not quite sure how you can tell the colour unless the little red fleck on the MPK bit does what it says. So uh, we'll let that run and we'll try another line. Let's try this one here. Why not give that one a try as well? I'm gonna try this one as well. And I'm going to remove, remove, remove. Let's see what happens.
I'm also trying out some of the other trams around as well because the blue that I did originally only comes out in blue it looks fantastic but it doesn't help me I quite like seeing the different colors although actually having a blue one for everything does I guess it's prototypical is what happens in the real world you don't have like lots of different colored trams around or buses or metros they tend to be one kind of style with just some kind of indicator on there anyway i did find that the one that's currently on there the color combino does change color based on route there is also a siemens one i did on there it doesn't look as nice as that blue that blue one the morpheus or whatever it's called doesn't look quite as nice um, but there is the generic version which does allow you to use different colors that's the siemens one right there Again, I can't remember, I think it does change color based on line. There's a little red strip at the bottom and across the top so you can visually see what color it is. And just there you can see there's a yellow one which is using my preferred model effectively. So I've made a few little changes. I've decided to stick with one type of tram because it shows the colors, although the actual kind of non-generic version of the tram looks brilliant in blue, but you cannot see and identify the trams and routes easily if you're using that method. So hence I'm using the generic version. I have added in some of the little bus stops there's a bus stop there with glass on it it's actually a two-part process it is a little bit more complicated but you can just about see the glass and the transparencies working so I'm not sure I'm up and down whether or not that is worthwhile pursuing in the rest of the area so I also added some additional track so I, didn't, I upgraded some of the track to change it from the kind of standard track tram it's a standard tram track that comes with the game itself well, i've added something called narrow although it seems to be wider who knows but it does look slightly different the way that it is presented in the actual game so maybe i will go around and upgrade all the others shortly to see how that works the benefit is it does actually change the bus stops to something what i prefer which has got the uh, covered bus stops which is uh, handy for those times when it's pissing down with rain and you don't want to get wet so the actual areas are now taking shape people are moving in i really do enjoy using the weird little roads which you can see it's kind of pedestrianized so you can see there's a dustbin lorry going down the street it does kind of enforce the traffic to go much slower but you can see a lot of the sims use these kind of roads in other areas I have blocked general traffic so cars cannot go down but I figured no not well actually there is a huge amount of people waiting to get on that tram line there as you can see look that is just immense and quite black oh fire in the background fire in the background so yeah I'm quite pleased with the area I will probably still plug away and have a little bit more of a play around off camera just to update some of the elements and see what happens so i've not done a huge amount this has really just been about trams and getting people on the trams and you can see actually trams are quite a good option for public transport as well as the monorails in one of my other episodes and the metro 
So if you do enjoy my videos, and this is a little bit of a quirky one, then please do hit the subscribe. Hit the like button to let me know you've enjoyed it. And hit the notification bell if you would like to see more and be told when I post a video. That would be great. Anyway, I can see that some of my houses are upgrading, which is fantastic. Don't forget to keep yourself safe, keep yourself well. I shall see you again, so goodbye for now.